yeah, so I found the bolts and those on top of the bug. So I'm going to attempt to get somewhere with this brake line kit now. I think I've sussed out a couple of lengths, as I said in the uh, previous video, but albeit a little bit lengthy. The best thing I think for me is to get down underneath this crawl space and measure what I've got in place already and sort of size up what's in the um, kit for the nearest sizes. The one that passes from front to rear has got these protective caps on. I'm just going to take a little bit off with my finger file just so it fits through my conduit without me getting the uh, ends bunged up with any dust and dirt. This is what I found out so far about the brake line kit that I purchased. Bought it a long time ago now, but it's pretty much the same kit that all the retailers will um, give you. I think they source them from the same place anyway. So this is a kit for a 1970 through to 79. There's the part number there. And depending on what model bus you've got, you've got a variety of lengths that you can utilise. So I'm not too sure what that length is for. Uh, a couple of lengths there that are probably won't use so it all depends if you've got a brake booster or a rear brake regulator all that malarkey the kit itself doesn't come with the section required to run from both cylinders uh, I wanted to change these out purely because the nuts were a little bit chewed up and uh, got a slight nick in the bottom bit there but uh, fluids running for it fine so I'll go with what I've got for now. Now I've just been up underneath the bus with a crude method of measuring the brake lines with a piece of string and what I've found is it looks like the 550 millimeter lengths which I've got two of serves from the T piece at the rear and goes off to both of the back drums. I've got a 465 length that goes from the T-piece and then onto the flexi hose for the near side rear drum. Got two lengths of the same length, 445mm. Now they pass through the front chassis rail serving the front brake drum and into the T-piece the brass T-piece that uh, sits in the centre of the cab floor underneath. I'm not sure if you can see the actual replacement length that has been put in here at some point, but it's so long. I've pushed the new brake line in only so far, because what I'm going to do now is put these rubber sleeves around the middle section of it. They came off the original tubing and just stops the uh, pipe rattling inside the conduit. There we go, it's the entire length taken out from front to rear. I've got plans for that later on. Last time I came to a grinding halt because I couldn't actually fit my drill in this section here to drill two holes for the bearing carrier on that throttle rod assembly. I've now got my angle drill, so that get me out of that situation. Originally, instead of uh, bolting this bearing carrier on, I was going to actually weld it onto the bracket that I made, but um, that's why I've taken the edges of the paint off. But then I thought, well, if it fouls, I'm going to have to uh, cut it all off. Got a new throttle linkage now installed, just got to hook it up at the carb. Got the master cylinder in now, and all working. So what's happening up underneath the front and the rear of the bus is that the brake line that passes through the conduit from front to rear is not long enough to go directly to the master cylinder. So what I'm going to have to do, both front and rear, I'm going to have to connect a piece of pipe on just to get that additional length. Uh, at the rear, I've been able to use my 
flexi ruler just to pass through chassis rails etc and um, measure the right path correct length of the pipe that needs to go in that's the connector for the rear and I'll put some sort of a saddle clamp in the middle of that to secure it and the path that that takes is up over the top of that torsion arm through that support and into the T-piece at the rear and there's the route that I've taken with the uh, pipe off of the master cylinder a little bit wiggly but try to lose a little bit of length and then up to the connector not in the best place but still accessible gonna call it a day now so I've made quite a big dent in what I wanted to get done that's pretty much all the brake drums done shock absorbers now in brake lines are done mass cylinders in and the throttle linkage so see you next time